I drink a lot of bit. <laughs> so how many of you guys have that friend, or probably all those friends over there, the one you can't, you hate to go out with because they always get a little too lit and this shit starts? <laughs> okay, if you're raising your hand, you're probably that motherfucker. That's cool. I have a friend like that, and when we go out in, in L.A., if it was a room full of Crips, he'd say, this is Okie Dog Pyro. If it was a room full of blessed, this is Okie Dog Crip. And it was about, there's a hot dog stand in my neighborhood called Okie Dog. It was not a real gang at all. But he could fight really good, and we would all get our asses kicked, and he'd beat up like five guys, and he thought it was hilarious. He's a psychopath. He's currently doing 15 years out of 18 years. He's almost 15. He's almost out. And I'm not one of those guys saying, free my friend, because my friend needed the time away from us to get it together. And I don't know how I'm going to get a pardon, but I'd love to bring him to Canada and drink with you guys one day. But we all make mistakes. We just don't all get caught. So I do this song for him every night. If you have a family member or a friend that's locked up, write them, put money on their books. We're all human beings and we deserve a second chance. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a one-man gang who never ran from anyone to sell cocaine. OGs in the city, y'all knew his name. Here's a little story about the gang that he claimed. The hardest nigga I know, he from Okie Dog Crip. He get about the pen, better hope he don't trip. Teriyaki or Pastrami, he was always in some beef. A legend to this day, they talk about him in the streets. It's not a real hood, it's something that he made up. This gang bang us off, cause he never gave a fuck. He wore white pro kings with pink and green strings. And dare anybody on the shore to say a thing. Seen him knock a lot of dudes out with one swing. Right by his side, the baddest bitch you ever seen. Made his first million by the age of 17. Credit card scams. Never touch a triple B. He was the king, everybody try to trip on him. They get confused when he okie dog crip on him. Most of the time, they just start laughing. They all got knocked out quick. Just by asking, where you from, homie? Where you where you from? Where you from, homie? Where you where you from? Where you from, homie? Where you where you from? Okie dog crip, and y'all don't want that. Where you from, homie? Where you where you from? Where you from, homie? Where you where you from? Where you from, homie? Where you where you from? Nova fucking Scotia! You from up your dog crib? Knock the nigga out and he broke his own fist like this In LA, you get hit up every day The homie had to come up with something different to say He like, no matter what I say, they gon' always wanna fight I'd rather get into it over something that I like One thing I love in this world above all The teriyaki burger and make an okie dog All he needed was a cause that he could get behind Always down the squad, he won every time We was little, he could fight very well Seen him with a grown man, we was only 12 Kept to himself unless they bothered him first Like I was saying at the top of his first, he busted up his hand with a bitch nigga's head. Cause he walked up to my homeboy and said, Where you from, homie? Where you, where you from? Where you from, homie? Where you, where you from? Where you from, homie? Where you, where you from? Hope you got crib and y'all don't want none, yeah. Where you from, homie? Where you, where you from? Where you from, homie? Where you, where you from? Where you from, homie? Where you, where you from? Halifax, Dartmouth, make some noise.